Okay, so 1.6, we're going to talk about imaginary numbers and then powers of I. So what is I, all right? I is defined to be the square root of negative 1, all right? The square root of negative 1, that's what it's defined to be. Now, if I is the square root of negative 1, okay, then I squared, that's going to be what? Well, I just square... square root of negative 1, and that gives me negative 1, all right? Now, i cubed, let's go through i cubed, okay? i cubed, what is this equal to? Well, this is really can be broken up into i squared times i. So there's two i's here, one i here, there's i cubed, there's three i's total, okay? So I know what I squared equals. I squared is equal to negative one. So I have negative one times I. So I cubed is negative I, all right? I to the fourth. Okay, I to the fourth, we can break this up. I can break it up to I squared times I squared. I squared and I squared, that's four I's total, that's I to the fourth right there. So I squared, it once again, this is negative one times negative one. All right, negative one and negative one make a positive one. Okay, now if I try I to the five, what's going on here? This is really I to the fourth times i to the 1, okay? 4 i's here, 1 i here, that's 5 total. So i to the 4th, what do we know that equals? That actually equals 1, all right? So i to the 4th is just 1, and then I have i. So i times 1, this is i. Huh, look at that. I'm right back to i again here. Let's try i to the 6th, okay? Let's do this real quick. So this is i to the fourth times i squared. So i to the fourth and uh, i squared, that adds up to six of those i's. And so i to the fourth, once again, is one. And then i squared, well, i squared is what? i squared's negative one. So that's one times negative one, which is negative one. Ooh, interesting. So I have i negative 1, I have negative i, and 1. And it looks like once I get down to here, it cycles back again. I get i, negative 1, what do you think is going to happen here? i to the 7 is what? Negative i. i to the 8 is what? That's 1 again. Okay, so it's cycling through. So here's, here's the idea here. So say, you know, I've got, whew, man, let's just make up a number, all right? So i to the 51, okay? Now, you've got two options. Either you can go through this list and go all the way down, i to the 50, i to the 51, got it, right? So you can go through that cycle. Or you can notice that what happens? Every fourth one, it repeats, right? Okay, so what do I do? I take this exponent, I don't wanna break it up in a clever way, okay? I wanna break it up into powers of four, okay? All right, so let's see, how many times will four go into 51? So four goes into 51, how many times? Uh, let's see, 12 is 48, I think. Okay, 12 is 48. And then I have a remainder of 3. Yeah, all right. So what is this really? This is equal to i to the... Um, 48, okay and then um, 
remainder three. Okay. So this I to the 48, I can rewrite that I to the 48. Okay. So this I to the 48, that's really four times 12. All right. So when I divide here, I can rewrite this as I to the four to the 12 times I to the three. Okay. Now, why is this good? Because what happens with I to the fourth? I to the fourth ends up being one and one raised to the 12 is still just one. So really all I'm doing here is I'm left with the remainder I cubed and I cubed we know we've got to memorize this, right? So I is square root negative one. I squared is negative one. I cubed is negative I. And that's really what we've got to remember. Okay, so these four right here, you've got to remember those. And they all kind of build off each other. So what's my answer? My answer is negative I. Let's try one more. I'm going to show you. Maybe it'll be a little bit clearer for you. All right. So maybe let's do um, I to the 17. Okay, I to the 17. Now, all I've got to do is I've got to take my 17 and divide by 4. When I divide by 4, okay, this is going to get me what? 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, so um, this goes into it 4 times, and I have a remainder of 1. Okay, so if I do that, I get 4, 16, and then remainder 1. All right, so what does that mean? Those factors there of i are going to cancel to give me 1. So this becomes what? It becomes i to the 4th raised to, well, how many was it? It was 4 of them for the 16 times i to the 1. Okay, so this turns into 1. And then this is just I. So my answer here is I. All right? So literally, all I'm doing here is I'm taking the exponent, dividing by 4, and then my remainder is the power of I that I have. Okay? So one last problem just to make sure we understand what's going on. So let's do I to the um, 20... I to the 25. Let's do 26. I to the 26. Okay? Alright, so if I do I to the 26, how many times will 26 be divided by 4? When I divide that, I get 6, that's 24, and then a remainder of 2. So what does this mean? This is equal to I squared and then I squared is negative one, and that's my answer, okay? Promise you, this is the last one right here. Okay, so here we go. I to the 21, I to the 21, okay? Let's try it out. I take 21, I divide by four, okay, what do I get? I get five, and what's my remainder? So. 4 goes into 21 5 times, so 4 times 5 is 20. I have a remainder of 1. So this is really equal to um, i to the 1. Okay, so that's just i. So my answer is i. All right. The key fact that we're taking advantage of is that this really is here. But the thing is, this i to the 20 can be written as i to the fourth raised to the five, power to a power on multiply exponents, okay? And we're taking advantage of the fact that i to the fourth is one, and one raised to some number is always gonna be one. So basically that just drops out and I get my answer. All right, guys.